If you have ever driven on the Greensburg Road, just several miles outside of New Kensington, you've seen this old wooden structure against the hillside. And I know you've wondered just what that is. This structure is a basic coal tipple dating back 70 years, possibly more. These basic structures date back thousands of years, back to the beginnings of mining, whether coal mining or hard rock mining. They were a distribution center for the product being mined. They were built over railway lines, waterways, and roadways. Their function and operation were extremely simple. Material from the mine, whether coal or another mined product, was transported up and into the tipple. The tipple usually would have individual storage bins. Material arriving at the tipple from the mine would be sized, dumped, and stored into its particular bin size. Customers buying the mined product would now have the advantage of buying sized material that they could use in their particular operations. Coal sizes have been broken down into slack, nut, egg, and the larger lump sizes. And here we see the old coal tipple, which sets just off of Greensburg Road. This particular tipple was loaded from above by truck. And you could see the four bin pattern. I am now on the roadway above the tipple. Trucks loaded with coal would back onto the tipple, onto the main dumping vat, which you see here. The trucks would dump their loads into this main vat. And from there, the coal would be sent up into the tipple bins and graded and stored. Here we can see the storage bins. The main dumping vat and the conveyor leading up from the dumping vat to the bin area. Here we see the bottom of the main loading vat with the conveyor at the bottom of the vat. The material would be dumped in, sent up the conveyor, and to the individual storage bins.
each of the four bins were tapered for ease of unloading into waiting trucks. From the information I was able to gather, this facility itself was not a coal mining facility. This facility was a for sale only. It was run, it was named Kowalski Coal Company. Many years ago, with the number of coal mines in this area, coal would have been easily obtainable. Mr. Kowalski would have bought from local mines, including the Kinlock Mine that was just down Greensburg Road. He would have truck hauled the coal to his facility, loaded his tipple, and sold coal from his facility. In essence, acting as a middleman between the customer and the coal mine itself. Here we see the remains, the ruins of the way scale at Mr. Kowalski's facility. The building and the site itself has been closed for decades. And a quick peek in the window shows the old Howe scale still in place, waiting to do its job.